I'm joined by Keith Cowling. He's a former rocket scientist and editor of NASAWatch.com, also an astrobiologist. Thanks very much for joining us, Keith. I certainly appreciate it. My pleasure. Now, with this latest launch, China is really showing its advancement in space exploration and technology as well. And uh, space missions, I'm sure you would agree with this, for any nation provides such a sense of national pride as well. Yeah, you know, it's very interesting. I'm in my 60s. I grew up during the space race between the U.S. and Russia, and I could not escape the notion that we're going to go to the moon as a little boy. And ever since then, although space is interesting to people here in the West, it's not like it is in China. And I've just, it's wonderful to watch an entire nation just uh, stop what they're doing and watch these flights. And it's not just China. I mean, India and other places as well are bringing on their own space programs. So, yes, these are uh, uh, ways to really bring one's nation together. And uh, the more nations that do that, the better. Yeah, and this space station just looks amazing. And the third crew hopefully completing construction and in space six months. What do you think are going to be the biggest challenges for the three Taikonauts? Well, the pace at which China is putting the space station together now is similar to what we did with the International Space Station. And that is more than one launch per year. And um, from what my friends who've been up there tell me, uh, you have to kind of, first of all, get used to where you're going because suddenly the space station gets much bigger. But there's always a little problem somewhere with something. And the crew's got to be ready at a moment's notice, whether it's a leak or something that doesn't fit or, or whatever. And that's usually when you're assembling a space station, you're really there to just keep, keep your eyes and everything like a traffic cop. <laughs> and, you know, you mentioned the ISS, and it's the, this space station is actually in a different orbit, I understand. But uh, this is the first time coming up this year that six people will be in a space station compared, if you will, to the ISS. Well, it's, it's smaller in terms of overall size. Uh, closer to the Russian Mir space station uh, years back. But if you go, if you look inside of it, I, I helped design the International Space Station many years ago. You look inside your sp the, the Chinese spacecraft and, and the one that's up there now, the International Space Station, there's a lot of similarity because there's usually just one real way to build a space station. And so there's a lot of commonality between them. And whether you have many more modules or fewer modules, the ability to do certain things in China space station is the same. And I would say probably a little better because these are 21st century modules. A lot of what's on the space station now is 15 to 20 years old. So there's an advantage to, to what's being launched uh, in the next few months.